Good morning, this is Jim's Little Boat. I'm Jim. Today's project, working down the checklist for winter, involves changing over some wiring, and I want to share that with you when we get in the boat. Before we start, I want to concede that it's probably the dirtiest Catalina 22 you've ever seen. It is full of fur needles. I keep the boat in an RV shelter like that so it stays dry. Keep all the hatches open, the wind blows through, there's no dampness, no smell, but there are thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of fur needles. And I've learned the hard way, just let them accumulate and in the week before you launch, go through and vacuum and wash everything and you have a nice looking boat. Let's go to work. Some previous owner installed this USB charger and they hooked it up in such a way that it was active when you turned on the cabin lights and it was not active when the cabin lights were off. There's just a lot of reasons that's a bad idea. I like to be able to charge my phone when I'm not using the cabin lights. So, I think what we'll do is we'll unhook the hot side, the positive side, figure out where it goes to the old switch panel, right there, and undo all that. What we'll do is we'll unhook that and we'll take it away off the switch panel and we'll put it on the auxiliary switch panel, which is mounted uh, uh, above the absentee seat. So we're gonna pull off the yellow wire, it's just on a spade connector, and disconnect that. Uh, I'm kind of looking upside down right now. On this boat, I almost always use red for positive and black for negative. Now I happen to remember that the negative wire in this situation does go to the negative bus bar that I installed later. So for that reason, we only have to mess with the yellow wire, which will soon be the red wire. I'm gonna disconnect that now and remove it. Yeah, the spade connector broke off when I pulled on it. Now we're going go over to the switch panel and remove the other side of the yellow wire. There's that little guy right there. It's the top yellow wire nut, which we will be removing shortly. And we'll replace it because there's three or four wires that go into there. One's yellow, one's red. Looks like one's white and one's black. But we'll hook it all up. So after I took the wire nut off, I found out they did a kind of a not very good soldering job. So we'll cut that all apart and put on some butt connectors and then a shrink connector over the top. Shrink fitting is nice and tight. Now we'll pull up the shrink tubing over the top of that. So that part's looking pretty good. You can see we've still got three circuits with wire nuts, but that's not on today's schedule. Yes, I am laying upside down with my head in the hole, which is why my breathing sounds funny. Now we'll go back in the shop and we'll make up a replacement wire for this yellow one that used to be the cabin light, positive side. Marked it because it's yellow and how would I know it's positive if I didn't mark it? When we installed this switch panel, we set it up so that all six switches already are pre-wired and go down to a bus bar. So when I want to power up an item, I'll only need to fish the wire down to the bus bar and tie it in there. But first I have to go back in the shop and make up the wire. Generally, I want to use the heaviest wire I can, but that's way too heavy. I mean, it's a light load when you're working with a telephone charger. This looks like the best bet. That's a match sitting light, so I don't want to waste that. And that's too heavy. So let's go with this. It's already got a connector on there, but it's not a connector that I like because it's automotive grade. So we're going to get rid of that and do marine grade. Give me just a second to get organized. We have the right wire. We have the right connector. So let's strip off a little tiny bit. You don't need much at all to go into that connector. We'll just strip that off. See, just a little bit. This is the marine grade wire. We will slip on this connector. Thusly. And crimp that. Now it's gonna take an oomph to get it on there because we want it tight. Good, 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 good. So we'll heat shrink this, then we'll stick some tubing over the top. Just need a little piece of shrink. This, this tubing is expensive, but you don't need to use a lot of it all the time. One piece can be cut into many things. 
We will slip this on the wire. I should have put it on in the first place, but I didn't. So we're slipping it on the wire there. Bring it up to cover up that, and I'll heat shrink that. That should make a pretty good connector. So we'll go fit this and see what we need to do to get the spade connector on the other side. Hope I got enough wire. It's really a drag when you don't. Well, we've got it out here and it's easy to do. Let's go ahead and label this little guy. This is gonna go on the third position. I'm gonna switch bus and I'll know what it's going to down at the USB charger end, but on this end, I just want to say USB charger. And that'll make a nice little label. So we'll go install it in the boat, make sure it works. And if it does, we'll get some wire ties and put it into the bundle. So I'll check back with you when we've done all that. Well, Splussel Fritz, I plugged the meter probe into the wrong hole because it was dark down there and I didn't pay enough attention. And as a result of that, I blew the fuse and I had to pull this panel out and replace the fuse. And I put a 10 amp in there, but it really needs a 15 amp and I don't like it at all, but I probably won't change the panel. But everything works right now that I've got the meter plugged in correctly. It is delivering 12.2 volts to the charging outlet. So go to the store, get a new fuse, put it all back together. Then I get my precious check mark. Indeed. Okay, got the switch panel back in, so installed with the correct fuse, all buttoned up there. All the wiring is neat and labeled and up to the bus bar. And the USB charger works. So we only have one project left. No, I was wrong. We have two projects left. We have to move the depth sounder up there by the compass so I don't have to ask people to move their legs all the time. And then we gotta put some coax in the mast. Oh, but that'll happen later. We got lots of time till April. Well, here's the checklist. And we're working our way down. And here is the newest check mark. Yes, yes, yes.